Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So you will be turning. Meanwhile, at the crusty crab. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So basically, uh, let me check. No, I'm sorry, you, you you need to make me. No, I like the one one shot perfectly. Two hours later. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So you will be Tara Chidi, and today I'm here with a very special guest, and she'll be introducing herself. Hi guys, my name is Zoraya and I'm the host of the Zoraya Effect podcast. Okay. So basically today we'll be talking about um deal breakers in friendships. We'll see um our own deal breakers first, then we'll read out some Instagram responses on the question we asked on deal breakers of friendships. So Deborah will say her. Okay, so the first one that I have for myself is when people insult or like bully me as a love language. Does that make sense? It is that a deal breaker for yeah, you too? It is. Like, okay, fine, we're friends and we'll be insulting ourselves, but like, yeah. calm down. Like, not the one that outside now you just come, ah, idiot, <laughs> ah, relax. No, no, no. Yeah, I it. it was okay when we were like 12, you get 13, mm-hmm, 14, mm-hmm. but now. But now, it's, it doesn't even make sense. That's one that I have. For me, this is personal, but do you agree? When people have no goals and no sense of direction, is mm-hmm. that a deal breaker for you? Like, to be honest. So, like, um, every relationship in this generation, in this time of our life now, it's if you're in a friendship or a whatever, and then you're not thinking of, like, how would I put it? I can't be friends with you and then we're just, like, walking like empty barriers. Yeah. Like, we need to, like, there, there should be something that I'm getting from you. There, there should be something you're getting from me. You can't be with somebody that you're just there. Okay, we're just talking about this lesson together. Like, let it be that, okay, I can go to Deborah and ask that, okay, can you help me with this? She can come to me, oh Victoria, can you help me with this? Even if it's can you help me to pack my hair, can you help me to let it be that there is something I can do for her. Don't just be empty. For this one, it's not really about like somebody helping me with something, but I feel like we hmm, at the end of the day, like it's not really my business if somebody doesn't have anything going for them. Like it doesn't really affect me and my goals. But I feel like when somebody doesn't really have anything that they're focusing on in life, mm-hmm. when you are working hard on the things that you're doing, it makes you look like you're doing too much. Like, for example, with this your YouTube now, somebody that doesn't have anything that they are committed to every week, they want to hang out with you and then you're like, oh no, I'm busy, I'm editing my YouTube video. They're going to be like, oh, you see everyday YouTube, you get mm-hmm. Because they don't have that sense of direction. Yeah. So I feel like it's not really because I want to get something from you, mm-hmm. but it will rub off on me because I'll not be thinking, am I doing too much? Like, is it really that deep? Oh, this yeah. YouTube, like, do I even have that many views? Yeah, I, I just, I should just stop, I should just focus on exactly. my friends. Exactly, so I feel like your friends yeah. do rub off on you. And like, even if yeah. you're not really thinking much about, like, getting something from somebody, like, relationships are still very transactional. Yeah. Okay, so the next one that I have is, okay, I would talk about somebody with somebody, right? Mm-hmm. Something that somebody did, somebody gossips too much, somebody is just bad energy, and then I now see them going to go and post the person. <laughs> and you know, I see them in the comment section like, "Oh, you look so good today." Oh, baby, Slay. let's go. <laughs> I feel like those kind of people. That's a deal breaker for me. I feel least. like uh, there'll be a time probably they'll just be having this, this conversation. You're not like, I "Won't tell you something, please don't tell please anybody." Tell anybody ah! Exactly, that's the thing, bro. Like if you think that, oh, they're not going to deal with you or about you because they're doing it with you, they are going to do it about you for sure. There'll be one day that you piss them off and they will run to that person that you guys have been talking about since and be like, she's just been annoying, she doesn't even like you. Mm-hmm. You know, she's not like, oh, mm-hmm. she doesn't even, she has been talking about you since, mm-hmm. you know that. And I also feel like if you like build your friendship up based off of gossiping, it's going to mm-hmm. be very, very, very bad for you. Right. Especially when you're like our age. You need to shut the fuck up when grown folks is talking. We're not, this, we're not the same age, but like around the same age. Like if you're like 14, 13, you can do that. But like mm-hmm. when it gets to like 16 upwards, I don't think that. I don't think you have to have your life figured out by that age. But like gossiping alone is not going to be what's going to sustain your friendship. Like it's, it's cool. actually boring. It is. I don't even like. People. But at, I don't at, like at, at the point, you actually run out of what to say. Then you exactly. start lying. <laughs> exactly. You actually start lying. So. Or you start speculating. You're not yeah, even sure of anything. Where you're like, oh, I, I think. Um, yeah, they did this. <laughs> My own deal breaker in friendship. Let me just say this one. 
if you're in a friendship and you're not comfortable you go there like you go to your friend's house or you go to your friend's room and then they're like oh sit here don't touch this don't touch this you are just you are just you are friends because you have to be comfortable like go feel free i, I don't know why yeah. i will feel comfortable with this friend and then this other friend i'm trying to like oh yeah. Let, yeah. let me not make her feel bad last one that i have is when people want me to overlook my boundary for them i have a boundary that i don't lend people money like oh, at all if I want to give you money, I will give you money. Yes. Like lending, okay. no, except okay. except my brother. Like that's the only person that I'm allowed to. And I feel like it's because like he's the only person that actually respects me when it comes to like oh pay me back at this time to get. Yeah. And it's the same way for me. Like I don't lend people money. I don't expect mm -hmm. them to lend me. Mm -hmm. Like some people will be like oh but like you trust me now like yeah, just over the They will not give you back. <laughs> Yeah, we're not you're the only that. friend I have. That's what they It's saying. actually really crazy that um, you know this kind of thing that you're like, oh, I'm really in help of this. I'm really in need of this. I'm not. I'm not saying this to anybody in particular. I actually don't have anybody in mind right now. I have. But like, and I, oh, you have. <laughs> you want to help somebody, uh, your friend or something? Oh, um, Victoria, please can you help me with this? I would pay you back. Blah blah blah. And then what about me? I might actually forget. But like you know when I'm broke and everything just start coming to my head and I remember this and sometimes I'm actually not asking for it. I'm waiting for you to you actually bring me you at me. And I will wait for so long. Maybe I'll wait for like two months. I will give it time. I'll wait for like two months and you still don't I will leave it. Like for me giving it just know that I would never ever give you something again. That's just that's and then they would be like, Oh, why did you remind me? Uh, why should I remind you? I didn't I didn't exactly. beg you to come, to come and, and collect money. That's the problem. Because when it's my brother, like I'm I'm never the one to be like, Oh, like, you have to hear back at this time. Like it never happens like that. And I will clean it for you. I'm exactly. me leaving it for you. Just know that I'm not I'm never giving you anything again. Never ever. So I think that's all for my own deal breakers and probably your own too, right? Mm -hmm. So we're moving to this is your YouTube channel, please. The buried it. Okay, so the first one that I have here is constantly putting me down. Do you think this is a deal breaker? Yes, it is. We are friends, and I feel like I can't be in something that I don't want future in. Like, how would I put it? I want to be able to call my friend in the next city and be like, "Oh, what's up? Like, yeah. let's still be friends." Yeah. How would it be putting me down? That's not good now. And I feel like sometimes it's very unintentional, but I feel like we're at the age where we have to be very like self-aware. Yeah, very conscious. So this one, some people just be so careless with their words and be saying anything. Yeah, because some things may not affect me, but they may affect somebody else. And mm -hmm. I have to be respectful of that. Like mm -hmm. whether or not like it really affects me, but mm -hmm. it's not about me. Mm -hmm. Like if I say something bad to somebody and they are offended by it, I don't have to be like oh, it was never that deep. Mm -hmm. Like it's their own right to yeah. be like oh, this is offended. They don't me. like it yeah. too. Okay, next one says judging people. Hmm. I feel like it's it's I don't know. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. I actually don't know what to say because sometimes I actually do judge people, but it just depends. It depends on you know some people are so some judgments are actually so unnecessary. Yeah. You know when you're like, how would I put it now? What is unnecessary judgment? Oh, this person's weak. Yes. Something like that. Yeah. You know, you're not giving the person money. If you want to have a problem with their wig buy them the but money just give them, them the money wear. do you get like i feel like sometimes i actually do it unconsciously i'm like oh why is this girl's clothes like this yeah. but i would i might not even take it to the next conversation i might not even take yeah. it again but like at the same time you know when <laughs> it happens i can't realize sometimes i do it but at the same time don't let that not be the topic of conversation all the time oh this girl oh this girl oh this girl is doing around side eye this, criminal offensive side eye there's no proper evidence that this boy is doing this thing, but like he just wants to like pick on this person. Me, I'm very on. Is it on judgmental <laughs> or non judgmental? I'm very non judgmental. Except what you're doing affects somebody else. Mm -hmm. If you decide to drink alcohol, that will probably kill you. I'm not going to judge you. Like, but if you're doing something that affects somebody else, that's going to have a problem mm -hmm. with it. But I feel like some people just. I feel like they judge people, but then they, they don't even have something that's best that you get. That like, is where the problem is. Exactly. You know, people that will be judging people. Oh, um, you don't have uh, you don't have the best clothes. Um, yeah. Oh, why are you wearing the same clothes and everything? We should be seeing you as a fashion stylist. Like, exactly. Be slaying. Be doing the best. Be doing. Be doing something better, far better. Don't be judging somebody and then you're you're worse than the person's condition. You are really worse. Come on. Some people are, some people have time. I can't. Believe. I wish I had time for this. I don't have time. I'm not even doing anything. But I just don't have the time. <laughs> okay, next one says hot temper. 
you can't we, we can't you can't be hot temper because i can't be friends with someone that is hot temper or probably uh, how would i put it i've actually not been oh <laughs> i don't even know what to say for you but like i've been friends with someone that is hot temper and then um it really didn't go well because you know this unnecessary temper you just want to like show off. sometimes i feel like it show off because yeah. this is unnecessary relax like actually calm down this i'm actually hot temper at the same time sometimes i'm actually just play up unnecessary reasons but you might not even know when i'm gonna reconcile with that person i played up with i might yeah. not tell you but like i would actually become with the person yeah, i think that's one of the reasons why it's not good to gossip like for example now let me just mention this like okay. i am on bad terms with somebody now and mm-hmm. i'm talking to you venting and then we're kind of like gossiping about the person mm-hmm. I don't have to go and tell you that I meet up with the person if mm-hmm. anything happens. Mm-hmm. And then in your now in your head you're like, oh, why is she talking to that person? I feel like if you can control the person, fine, good. But no. some people, uh, I some people I don't have strength for that. If you're having anger issues, you just go and meet your fellow anger issues. <laughs> you people should, you people should, you should do therapy, you should, group therapy. People should bonfire your head. <laughs> okay, next one says canceling our plans over a boy or a man yeah. or a male. Nah, don't do that. Except you guys are going on a very expensive trip. Don't do that. To Dubai. Except you are doing something more than the um like you're doing something more than that. Who is this one? <laughs> I just <laughs> Except you're doing something more than that plan that you you and your girlfriend had. But like so just imagine lie down on his on bed. his bed. You're good you're just going to sit down there and watch him cheat on you. Wow the wind was very much. I was trying to push her, and we were still taking me back. But I tried my best. <laughs> Have you been through a certain relationship? No, 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 never. Like, nobody has ever told me, oh, don't go here, Nana. I would not answer you. Making it look like I'm begging for the friendship. <laughs> this guy will have strength for you. I have never begged somebody to stay. That is something I can. That's something I'm proud of. Maybe it's my pride, but like, it's never, it's never even pride. I I'm feel like I respect myself so much that let it be that. They would come back and be like, "Oh, Victoria, I'm sorry for what happened." I have never, I can never remember begging somebody to stay, except so for me. I was the person. I feel like, I, I feel like 10, I'm actually now. I'm actually realizing that I've actually never done that. That's a good thing, know. For it's not like I'm, I'm a bad guy, but the moment you start misbehaving, and I see that okay, you are not a normal person, I would leave you. Maybe in the next two months, now, what do you want to come and like, oh, Victoria, I actually found out that you are the love of my life and you are the one <laughs> yeah, that I chose. <laughs> And this is probably the last one. It says unbalanced effort. Do you, I feel like sometimes relationships aren't always like every day 50 50. Sometimes you may be going through something, so you're giving 30, I mean, I'm giving 70. Mm-hmm. But like, it has to switch. It can't just always be the fact that you're struggling. Because yeah. everybody's struggling, and that's the thing. You're, some people are always like, oh, you don't know what she's going through. Me too, I'm, I'm going, going through it. Like, I can't even lie. Because let me tell you something. There was this time like this, I was like, I was going through a lot. And then, you know when you are trying to like talk to your friend and like, oh, I actually understand. You don't understand. You don't understand, exactly. <laughs> you don't understand because probably I'm just telling you like the surface, like because so I that know you that, don't yes, really send me to yeah, therapy you get, or psychiatry. Like if I actually go deep inside the, the, the matter, you might not even pity me. You might not still understand. That just, that just sometimes the reason why I just keep my things to myself. myself yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, I'm going podcast. through. Oh, yeah, I'm going through this. I'm going through that. Okay, fine. I might not tell you I'm going through anything, but like, I might just tell you, oh, same jigger but because yeah. i don't have anything to tell you she tried to pretend like we're actually, trying just to i would actually stay on my bed and cry 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 maybe i'm living here i'm smiling exactly. or except i just don't want to be happy but like as if i want to be happy as i'm leaving this door i'm smiling like nobody would know that something actually happened to me yeah that's just it. Yeah, so don't go and be doing unbalanced efforts with your friend. I think yeah. that you are the best friend. You're very you're you're not a bad friend, but like you're doing yourself a lot of injustice. Because that friend is probably like, ah, oh, I can do anything, I can lash out, I can be sad, I can block her, mm-hmm. but she's always going to come back. Mm-hmm. Why okay. That's all for the video. Today. Basically, we've come to the end of this video, and I'm very sure that you learned something from this. Because you can't tell me that you finish watching this video and you don't you don't learn anything from it. Oh, God. I feel like friendships, like you, like friendships are actually deeper than that relationships. relationships I agree. People should stop thinking that oh, my man, my man, my man. You shouldn't my have woman, friends. My woman, my woman. You shouldn't have friends. No, you know, funny thing. <laughs> no boys always claiming my woman, my woman. Actually, it's always my man, my man, my man. <laughs> but like, I just feel like. People should take your friendship more seriously because I feel like friendship lasts longer than relationships because most times is that 
if if you notice you hear um i dated this guy for two years and we married next year and i have my best friend since 12 years, years or something years, years. so like i just feel like friendships are just more deeper so take friendships seriously if you see a red red flag in friendships run either you run or if it's that you probably spoken to the person several days several days the person no i should then you run but like if you if you feel that you can try to like bring the person together and it's yeah, to i actually time. avoid doing that thing i feel like if I, I feel like sometimes okay. sometimes yeah it's not like i want you but like let me just let me just say something Mention it. let me just say something so it doesn't look like i didn't say anything did you get for um, <laughs> for me and god know that i'm done with you but like let me just say something did you get let me Wait, tell you something let me tell you something all right let me tell you something let me tell you something but like you're just better off to just okay call the person's attention this thing i do i don't like it but if, if the person finds out that okay i'm mad then no problem <laughs> but don't ever try and change right, that's the end of the video basically and i'm very sure you enjoyed it because i actually did okay. i learned a lot with this we've come to the end of the video it's like listen to our podcast yeah the dry <laughs> effect anywhere you listen to podcasts. yeah she's going really well and then um don't forget to follow my social media also tall Vic on instagram tall vicky <laughs> on tiktok and every other place and also subscribe to my youtube like share comment and turn on your post notification button <laughs> see, you. see you guys in the next video Bye.